It's important for us to know when this timing of the prohibition of chametz takes place. So, according to the Torah, the Torah tells us that we are to rid ourselves from all of our chametz. We should destroy it, we should not own any, we should not possess, we should not eat any chametz from midday of the eve of Passover. That's the 14th of Nisan. We should have no chametz contact or consumption or ownership from midday on the 14th of Nisan. This is because in the time of the temple, from midday, the Passover sacrifice, the slaughtering of the Paschal sacrifice was already allowed to start because everyone was gonna start eating it for the evening. So from midday, already that sacrifice was valid to be brought, saved for the evening. Now, since the Passover sacrifice has to be eaten with matzah and absolutely no chametz, the Torah teaches us at that point no chametz is to be eaten or owned at all from midday on the eve of Passover. Now, our rabbis came and they were stringent. They made two different types of guards or fences to make sure that no one would come to make a transgression and eat any chametz or own any chametz from midday. And what they did was they looked at the day, specifically the morning of the eve of Passover, and they made two separate fences. Just before I give you them, it's important to note how to calculate the day according to halakha, according to Jewish law. So the day starts with dawn and it ends with stars out. Others explain that it starts with sunrise and it ends with sundown. But for calculating a halachic hour, a Jewish laws hour, we take dawn and then we take sun stars out. And we take that time and we divide it to an even 12. That will give you the value of one hour. So this year, and I'm getting times for Florida, where I live, the halachic hour is approximately an hour and 14 minutes. And based on that, you would get the middle of the day. The middle of the day would be at 1.21 p.m. as well as, as a.m. because that's the exact midpoint between those times. And that would be when the Torah was telling us that a person has to completely stop from consuming or owning any type of chametz. That is the sixth day, uh, sixth, the end of the sixth hour from the beginning of the day, because if there's 12 hours in a day, so the midpoint is at the end of the sixth. That's where we have the 121 midday. Again, times are for Florida. Now, Hachamim, our sages, came and they said, we're gonna do two different safeguards. One at the end of the fourth hour, and at the end of the fourth hour is a time where no Jews should be eating any chametz. That is because it's very easy to make a mistake and eating is the primary and a primary prohibition on Passover. So therefore, by the end of the fourth hour, no chametz can be eaten. This year in Florida, the time is at 10.53. From 10.53 a.m. and on, no chametz should be eaten at all. Then they came and they said, you know what? When it comes to benefit of any of chametz, we're going to make another rabbinical prohibition and bring it up only by one hour, meaning the end of the fifth hour. The end of the fifth hour would be 12.07 p.m. From 12.07 p.m., nobody should be benefiting from any chametz. They shouldn't be still selling it to make a profit or any type of benefit from chametz a person could have should stop from 12.07, that's the end of the fifth hour. So again, from the end of the fourth hour, no more eating. From the end of the fifth hour, no more be benefiting. And from midday is when the absolute Torah prohibition to do anything when it comes to chametz.